you feel like you're making a tangible difference by raising some money, not just fighting it on your own. And, and it kind of clears your mind and just helps you feel like you're doing something to make a difference. Ben Smith is taking a practice loop on his bike around his neighborhood in preparation for Norton Healthcare's Bike to Beat Cancer charity ride on Saturday. He was diagnosed with cancer in June. An astrocytoma grade three tumor, okay? So it's not the worst, but also not the easiest as either. Doctors removed the golf ball sized tumor from his brain and started six weeks of radiation and chemo. At the very end, he tested positive for COVID-19. I thought I was just getting worn down, you know, from the radiation and the chemo, because that's what they kept telling me. But I'd been doing really well up until then. I had been training even on this for this uh, ride. It's been about a month and Smith feels ready to ride. His wife is a five-year breast cancer survivor, so he's previously volunteered with the organization Hope Scarves at the Bike to Beat Cancer event. Now he's riding to raise money for them. I would have never guessed that two years later, A, I'd be being treated in that building, or B, that I'd be riding in this ride as a survivor. So it's kind of a full circle kind of thing. Smith has a team of 25 people from across the country riding in the event. Some are riding on their Pelotons on Bike to Beat Cancer Day. Some people are riding in their neighborhood. Smith's team has raised nearly $10,000 that will go directly to Hope Scarves. He says they ride for all survivors and those who lost the battle. Everybody's directly or indirectly touched by cancer somehow. Alex Durham, WLKY News.